Hey, what's up all? Thanks so much for tuning in. Now, today I'm taking a look at another Digiati product. Now, this is a paid product, but this is called Video Pro Converter. Now, if you're anything like me and need to convert video files, different formats, if you're looking for ways to download videos from different sites, then this product may be for you. I know when I try to download from different sites, a lot of the Chrome plugins don't work. A lot of the sites that are out there are all rogue and weird. You're gonna want just a platform. But let me show you what this looks like and why I love it. So right here, the first thing, let me show you the video. So this is the video converter, which will allow you to convert to and from tons and tons of different video files, which is really great when you have maybe older videos or kind of like random weird file names. You don't have to use an online cloud service. It is all right here for you. You can see your different target formats right there. Um, and then you can always go in and you can add some other ones that you want to use, but they have tons of different formats depending on what you want to do with it. And then there's also different profiles here for like Vimeo and Facebook video, and you can all adjust it. It also supports hardware acceleration. So some of these other platforms and programs are a little bit slow for converting and exporting, but this has done a really great job depending on what your graphics card and your CPU performance will be like. You have some other options here, auto copy, high quality engine, merge. I really haven't used too many of those. You can also de-interlace if you need to do that. And then back up here, you can click for your video, you can also select a whole folder. So if you have a bunch of different files, you can, you know, maybe there's five videos, you can do that. And then you can click the merge button and bring them all together. You can add music and it, it lets you be like a little bit of a, like a basic editor, very, very basic editor if you needed to do that. But then you get your target formats down here. Um, really awesome. So if we click over here, we can see some other video formats. We have device options, music, toolbox. So if you want to do things like denoise or trim or split the files that you bring in, you have these basic video editing options and you can do that. So really great. That is awesome. Uh, if I go back here, we have our DVD feature. So this is if you want to convert your DVD to uh, ISO, uh, you know, disk image on your hard drive. So you can use it with something like Plex or any of those other platforms. You could do that right here. Um, really easy. Just convert it to like an MP4 if you want to watch it, depending on what your platform uses. Super, super simple. Now, the DVD uh, conversion and rip does take a little bit longer, but it has worked great and looks awesome and you get full resolution, no problems whatsoever. You can also convert right from an ISO. So if you have an ISO image, you can do that and then convert it to whatever format you want. If you want to convert it to an MP4, you can do that. Then you also have some other options here that you can work with depending on what you need for that final product, right? Back here, we have the downloader. Now, this is one of my favorite ones. So all you have to do is you can log in if you're downloading either a watch list or private videos. And then you have your output folders. But then all you need to do is click add video and then you click the video link, drop it here and it will download. Now, I will say that this is not super slow, but it does take some time to really go out and grab the video and bring it down. But the video quality is very high resolution. It looks great. And you're not worried about using some crazy site that's probably going to drop a virus onto your computer or show something that you don't want to see. Right. So then you can go ahead and clear that task. And then final one, we do have a, a recorder here. So if you want to record anything on the screen, you can just do that. You can record a screen, a webcam, screen and webcam, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Um, but it gives you all these options that you may need. And it's just all together a great little program that gives you a lot of different things that you can do. And I really like the DigiArt products and I think this one is worth it too. So if you're doing video editing, converting stuff, any type of stuff, like that uh, converting dvds this may be a really great product for you to check out i'm alan from damn good reviews thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe right here and i will see you in my next video